Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to show you how to make free business cards using Canva. Now, most of you have not heard of Canva, but it is a great site that allows you to create various designs for various purposes. For the sake of this video, we're gonna sign up for our first account. Now, I already have an account, but one of the best ways to go through the whole process is just select your preference on this menu. Now, I'm not a small business or an educator, but I do have a YouTube account. So I'm gonna select my YouTube credentials and sign in with these. And if you already have an account, you just press log in, or you can use your username and password. And we're going to select log in with Google for starters. And then we're gonna go through the Google authentication page, and I'm going to select my main account. Now I already have several designs saved, so you'll just see them in just a few moments here. All right, so when you sign up, it'll ask you to create a design. Here are the various designs that you can see. So business card is the one that you want, YouTube thumbnail, social graphic, presentation, poster, Facebook cover, or Facebook post. So for the sake of this, we're gonna select business card. As you can see, this is the business card design that I've made here using one of the free designs that came with the website. And then you can also do the same thing for YouTube thumbnails, which is really cool if you're looking to find something that will allow you to make thumbnails to use in your videos. So let's just do what you came here to see. We're gonna click on business card and it'll load in a new design window and it will give you a blank template to start and you can design this however you like. You can add your own logos, you can add your own text elements, you can add all of that. So let's say you're gonna design a business card from scratch. So you're going to use the search and search for an image. So let's say you are running a food truck and you sell hot dogs. So we're gonna type in hot dog and then it'll come up with various photos of hot dogs. Now, for the sake of this, it will show you free pictures of hot dogs and then they also have these things called Pro, where they are a premium service and you either pay $1 or more, depending on the quality. So for the sake of this, we're just going to select this picture of the hot dog. And then we're going to resize the hot dog however we like. And then we're going to rotate the hot dog. And then we're going to position it wherever. And they have snapping enabled, so it allows you to snap into place here what you want. All right, so you resize your image however you like, and you want to add some text. So let's create some text. So you have here a lot of free text options on the left side. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this. So when you click on that, it generally brings up text right away. And you can highlight the text and edit it however you like. And it'll allow you to select a huge list of fonts. And these are the fonts that come with the Canva website. And there is a lot of them, as you can see. It's hard to go through each and every one, but you have a lot of options. We're just going to select Abia Libre Extra Bold. And it'll convert the font to the one that we want. To edit the text, you click inside the text box and the cursor will appear. So we're just going to delete this, for example. And then we're going to click up here for the other element. And then we're going to highlight everything. And then we're going to delete it. And then we're going to type in Harry's Hot Dogs. And then you can resize the text however you like. And you can set the alignment. And you can position it. And then you can also center the text. So you can highlight it here, and then you can enable the right align, center align, and sorry, left align, center align, and right align. So we're gonna center align it. And there is our, there's our sample business card. And you can design it however you like. All right, so once you are done everything, you can choose to download. And what I'm gonna do for the sake of this is I'm gonna select JPEG and we're going to click download and then it'll start the download process here so the bar will show that downloads complete because JPEGs are usually smaller file sizes but they do the job now if you want to make your own business cards yourself you can buy special business card paper at your local staples or office supply store and here is another way that you can print it at home so what you can also do is you can search up a uh, blank business card template and then what I recommend is using the Avery one so what you do is you go to the first search here business cards hyphen Avery and then it'll take you to the Avery website and 
what I've been using is template 5371. Uh, I'll take that later. So you select this template and it's a white template, 10 per sheet, and that is how it comes. But you can also use your business card design that you make on Canva so that you can save the design and you can also use a premium service like Vistaprint. But this is for people that are wanting to print their own business cards on a budget. So this is what you do. You then download the template by selecting the software. So I'm going to select Microsoft Word in this example. And then you can either select business cards wide or you can use the tall business card style. So for this, we're going to download the template. And I just usually just sign up as a guest and download it there. So I'm going to just use my credentials. And then we click acknowledge and then you click download. So then what it does is it downloads the template. And if you have Microsoft Word or Open Office or anything free, you can then click on the template and then it will open it up in Word and then it will ask you to enable editing. And there we go. Now the thing is with JPEGs, you can't open them like usual files in certain programs. So you're going to click on the insert tab and select pictures. And then we're going to go into our downloads folder and find the file that we have recently done. We're going to click on this and we're going to click insert. As you can see, it inserts the file already and it's not quite lined up with the business card template. So what you do then is you click here and then you enable with text wrapping. So that way it'll wrap around things, but this is not text, it's a JPEG. But we can also do fixed position on the page. So once you've clicked those preferences, you can start to move everything around and you can minimize it however you like so that you can space everything properly. Let's just select this so that you can allow for the business card to move properly. And it looks pretty clean here. So then what you can do is you can just press Control C and then Control V to do a copy and paste and you can line up your business cards like that and then you can put it into the template and have no problems at all. And then you can position it however you like. Well, you have to make sure that it lines up so that if you're doing it through an inkjet printer, it prints out properly. And also make sure that you have enough ink and that you align your print heads. And then once you're finished positioning everything here, you're good to go. So we have our business cards lined up into our business card template. And then what you do is then you click File and then Print. It'll give you a print preview on your business cards and you just make sure that everything is lined up. And if there's any sort of error with your margins, you can adjust the margins. You can adjust the margins in your Word document and make sure that everything is aligned and clean. And then simply go to Print and then it prints out your business cards. So this is one way to do it without having to spend money on premium services. But if you do want to spend money on premium services, that's also fine. But this is for people that want to make their own business cards using their own equipment. So everybody, I hope that helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, leave a comment below and also leave me any feedback concerning this video so that way I can improve my content. And also don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up and click the bell for all future uploads. So have a great day and domination is near. Have a good one.